Thank you. Um, uh, Minister Ross, um, you appeared on the Late Late Show last September and you said that you were, you'd, you'd have to be worried about any organisation that has one person in charge for a long time. Anywhere, anywhere there is a little king, kingdom being run by one person with too much uh, power is concerning. Could I just have a very succinct reply from you in relation to what actions you've taken since September on that particular issue? That's fine. Yeah. Um, the well, the immediate. I have to be very careful what I say here. Sorry, because of this inquiry going on. But the um, the code of governance which we set up was was uh, in direct response to that. But on top of that, obviously, the Moran inquiry was set up uh, specifically. I think, and I'm choosing my words very carefully here. I think in response to the issues that you are. Uh, addressing and one of the issues that was addressed was addressed was addressed or one of the consequences of that was obviously or one of the reasons why it was set up was because there was a situation uh, where where one person was appeared at the time to exert too much influence. I don't want to say anything okay. which prejudices the Moran Inquiry in any way, though. Yeah, can, can I go on and ask you, uh, does it worry you that an organisation like, for example, uh, the FAI, with, which governs the largest participant of sport in the country, uh, still blatantly ignores a recommendation from the independent Genesis report from about 13 years ago that it would have independent directors on its board. In actual fact, what it did was it extended the age that somebody could be on their board um, to facilitate somebody that was on their board and there's very little turnover. Um, so, it, it, I mean, what can you practically do about that? I mean, are there going to be sanctions in relation to this mandatory uh, code? Um, and, and, you know, what would those, what would those sanctions be? Or, or do you have an input into them? I think you're right. I think that all organisations of that sort should have, and all sporting organisations of that sort, speci specifically those that get government funding uh, and which have such large public following should be um, should have independent directors on the board. I think that is there's something that certainly ought to happen. What can you do about it? Uh, well obviously we get a we, we, we get we we can put some pressure on them because they get government funding. Will you do that? I'll consider it. I'll, I'll look at the details of it and I'll consider it. Okay. Uh, also in terms of you um, you can't have accountability without transparency. Um, and, for example, that same organisation had two different amounts of five million. One came from Goldman Sachs. The other one came from, you know, the Thierry Henry, Henry, uh, Henry, uh, kind of uh, almost compensation for not being there, if you like. Uh, and they were revealed, kind of, almost in a in, in a way that didn't come through their accounts. Um, would that be the kind of thing? I mean, is it something like that that Sports Ireland would be would would be, or would you want to satisfy yourself about that, or what do you think about that? I think that that's a, I I think that's something which should have been addressed. If it wasn't, it should have been addressed at that committee, at this committee, uh, last week. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Chairman, can I, can I uh, just as a, a flashback to the past, uh, I was a member of the last Oireachtas Committee uh, that, and Senator Romani was the chairman of it. Uh, you were a member of it as well, Chairman. We attempted to do that, Deputy, and we were blocked by our own members. Can I just come back to you and say that? that uh, and some, uh, of the, some of them might want to forget that now, but that, yeah. that was actually blocked by this committee. Yeah, well, that might... could, I, could I clarify what happened at that time? In the sense that, as chairman, just just by way of clarification, is that the legal advice, the legal advice, strong legal advice at the time, it was in relation to the five million for the Thierry Henry thing. Uh, the legal advice is that we couldn't question it because it wasn't government funding. We, we, there was a there was a, a, a request to bring in the CEO of FAI, and that's what we. We, we had to act on the legal advice that yes, we got. Well, said to us, I mean, we had a very serious clarification of that 
uh, yesterday in relation to people who appear in front of the committee from our courts. But at the meeting two weeks ago, um, the, the chief executive of the FAI said that he, he was told that the committee he didn't he wasn't ex he he didn't. Uh, he was told that he wouldn't have to answer that question. I found that, I've got to say, unacceptable that somebody would come in and be told that they weren't, they, 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 uh, they, they weren't required uh, to, to answer a question that obviously was, was an important question in the public domain. Um, I, just, I just want to say that. Um, so the, um, uh, I won't go into the ticketing one because you've made a point that you're, you're, you're constrained in, in, in what you can, you can say on that. Um, I mean, there, there, it, in terms of, of um, accountability, the idea that, for example, very often the press will hold, just like we do at this committee, the press will hold organisations to account. Um, and there, there was um, the FAI, for example, don't have an AGM after their, uh, the, after, or they don't have a, a press conference after their AGM. Yesterday we saw the OCI say, state a position and then roll back from that position that they were going to restrict, uh, they, they were going to have a very significant restriction on uh, the press um, or indeed people attending, uh, attending the. Um, uh, uh, the upcoming uh, the, the upcoming election um, or the EGM, um, the code of the go code of governance, I presume, will um, address uh, that kind of an issue because it is going to be really important that there is that public accountability. I think when uh, last year uh, the, the the Olympics were overshadowed by uh, a controversy that really really undermined the very uh, valuable contribution our athletes made. And you're quite right, um, uh, uh, Minister O'Donovan, uh, governance very often walks uh, organisations and sports into these, into these uh, uh, unfortunate scenarios. Is that going to be part of the code of governance, that there has to be a public component? Um, and I, I believe there should be. Chairman, I, I don't disagree with anything Deputy Murphy has said. In fact, I couldn't have put it better myself. Um, in return for state investment in anything, there has to be probity and there has to be public accountability. And this committee, I would say, has a hugely important role in that, both in holding the department to account in how we spend our money and allocate it, and in terms of the sporting organisations, how they actually allocate it and, and use it on the ground. So yes is the answer. There has to be penalties uh, for those that aren't going to... Um, because we've seen this in the voluntary sector, in the HSC, sector, in the charity sector, and to be perfectly honest about it, I don't want to see it in the sporting sector. That's why I decided from the outset, uh, and I know Minister Ross was hugely supportive of it, wherever there's a voluntary code in any element uh, of public life in Ireland, you have the temptation for problems, so you need to remove them, and that's why you have to move to mandatory codes with penalties. Without, without penalties, it's meaningless, and the only penalty that you can actually meaningfully enforce as a department is financial. Uh, so I totally agree with what you're saying, and when we get to a situation where everybody will, have, will be at that stage in 2019, 2020, it will take a bit of time, but we're on a trajectory there, and you know, uh, I don't disagree with you, but when, when, when Aractus committees as well are charged with, probity, with probing, they have an obligation to probe, and certainly walking away from it is not a good idea.